you don't become 100 every now and then. Uh, you are 100 once in a blue moon. We are so privileged to be passing through the journey of time to witness what is our milestone moment. It is a record worth celebrating. And I'm sure all who are here as your invited guests are happy to share this moment with you. But it will be remiss of me before I move on, let me say firstly, thank you. I note the chairman of the Motu Koita Assembly is in the house. I also note the local member for Mosby Northwest and Mosby South are also in the house. Let me pay respect to the indigenous Motu Koita Buens for you lending your land space, your heritage to us. Of course, we acknowledge God, uh, but God has passed this piece of real estate to the Motu Koita Buens and without your love and care and your gesture, we will not all be here. So thank you very much for your forever grace and gratitude. For this country has an abundance of gratitude for yourselves. We do acknowledge your contribution. Tonight is worth celebrating. 100 years is a huge milestone. And not just 100 years for any company but more importantly, a global brand, uh, branded company, a AAA rated company, a global leader for you to have 100 years of unbroken, unbroken business and service to Papua New Guinea is something that I am duty bound to thank you for your forever presence in our country. On behalf of Papua New Guinea's past, Papua New Guinea's present, and Papua New Guinea into the future, let me step back and say thank you very much. <laughs> the environment, especially the business environment in 1922, maybe was not as it is today. I do not know the size of economy in 1922. I know that the size of the economy in 1975 was only under 2 billion kina. Yet, global company in the form of ExxonMobil choose to journey with us from 1922 to now 2022. I stand here wearing what was the currency of the people of the New Guinea Islands back in 1922. I'm wearing uh, unfortunately for me, I do not have the East New Britain, East New Britain uh, uh, provincial uh, flag on my on my chest, but the cousins in New Ireland are wearing uh, New Ireland and Papua New Guinea flag. We are a proud seafaring people. We are a proud group of people. In fact, the most diverse nation on the face of planet Earth you can find. The beautifully choreographed presentation earlier tonight really is the story of our country. We were ferrying ships, ferrying oceans rather, even before the first fossil fuel-aided ships were created. We were traversing this part of planet Earth. And we just want to appreciate ExxonMobil for coming and sharing this part of planet Earth with us. In 1922, you were only in the downstream business. You're selling kerosene, as you said. You're selling, selling diesels, as you said. You have grown the last 100 years with us in Papua New Guinea. We too have grown with you. In the last 100 years, we've traveled through time. There were ups and downs in this part of planet Earth as it was in all parts of planet Earth. The great repression of the 1930s, the World Wars of the 1940s, the emergence of the Cold War in the 50s and 60s, our own independence as a nation in the 1970s, and the various challenges that we had to live with, challenges of trying to keep a nation of a thousand tribes united under one sovereignty that we gained in 1975. The challenges that we face were also the challenges that you experienced as we traveled through time into this moment. 
where we are celebrating your 100 years of existence. Let me step back and say thank you now. Not just for the deep past, but also for the very, very recent past. You have diversified. You have entrenched. You're not just in the downstream sector. You've come heavy in the upstream space. I just want to step back and say thank you very much for your vote of confidence on Papua New Guinea as an investment destination. Your investments in PNG LNG is a testament to the fact that Papua New Guinea, despite many of the headline negativities, despite many of the missed signals or signals we may give, Papua New Guinea still remains a vibrant place of consistent presence of businesses. And not ordinary business, but triple-A rated business. And for those of you who sit in this room or sitting elsewhere and are tuning in, despite your own balance sheets and your own standing as a company, you too can live with us for the next 100 years. ExxonMobil has shown that PNG is a place to do business and can be a place to do business. Today I stand as leader of this nation of a thousand tribes and to say thank you and to point to ExxonMobil that maybe you and me can live together for the next hundred years. Why not? Yes, we can. <laughs> when we as government and country look at policies, we are not incognizant to the fact that investors need to make a return on the investments. The bottom line, whether we make regime changes or we throw out policy interventions, the fundamental bottom line on investors making a return on the investments will not be affected. You need to win and the country must win also. And so as we engage in conversations, moving beyond PNG LNG into Papua and into Pinyang and elsewhere, may you take it from us. We are not a nation that changes goalposts in between. Goalposts set constitutionally and legally and by agreement will stand the test of time going forward. You only have to ask several New Guinea in 1990, I was doing my first minute at the University of Papua New Guinea when my Southern Highlands and the Papua New Guinea National Government went into agreement with several New Guinea since 1990, no cargo of export have missed its international destination, whether it's contracted or the spot markets. Earthquakes can come and go, social disorders and tensions can happen, but our cargoes find their market and the goalposts that we set with our investors remain fixed as ever. And so I just want to give assurance to ExxonMobil and the family of investors we have in this room. To the family of investors, if ExxonMobil, the AAA rated global invest, investor in the oil and gas business, could be here 100 years on, never you question the ability of this country to partner you. Take cue and lesson, and I am happy that Total, the biggest gas company, if I could name them, Total Energy, is also in the house tonight and is also here in our country. 
together with Total and ExxonMobil of our participation in the petrochemical business is set and secure going forward. And at this juncture, let me thank very much. I want to thank very much Jara of Japan. I want to thank very much TEPCO of Japan. And also our buyers in Taiwan and China for being foundational buyers of products from PNG led by ExxonMobil. We have other, pro other LNG projects that are being lined up. We look forward to more of you buyers coming on. So we will not fail to honor commitments as a country we have with our investors. And hopefully our investors will then ensure the supply to the market continues. I want to appreciate ExxonMobil tonight by saying thank you for employing Papua New Guineans. I was with the best of young Papua New Guineans who were recruited in 2009 and 10 as then Education Minister. My friend Andrew Berry is sitting here. Uh, he knows the story. Uh, Peter Graham was around that time. I'm sure they are running the plan today and none can be more evident than a Papua New Guinean handling the 2018 violent 7.6 magnitude earthquake that hit the PNG LNG heartland. A Papua New Guinean handled it to a calm closer and managed the entire plant up in heights. That is a testament to how we have come thus far. Thank you, ExxonMobil, for employing Papua New training and employing Papua New Guinea. Thank you, ExxonMobil, for ensuring that the spin-offs are benefited by Papua New Guinea SMEs, including our land costs in the project areas, but more importantly, the other retail outlets you have where many Papua New Guinea SMEs are part of your business spin-offs. We also thank you for paying your taxes and dividend. And we thank you also for ensuring that further foreign direct investments are being mobilized and your partnership in Papua LNG and your partnership in Pinyang or your leadership in Pinyang. I just want to place on record our great appreciation of your leadership in this space. We look forward to going into the future with yourselves as you continue to partner us and to make Papua New Guinea a better place. Many would have their views on Papua New Guinea, but let me give you some important pointers. For I, in my return from the United Kingdom, after witnessing the, the burial of Her Majesty, the Queen, of, uh, Queen Elizabeth, I said I will live to celebrate my 103, three year, three, uh, my 110th birthday. And many were wondering, why am I saying I'm living to 103? My wife didn't believe me because she knows my lifestyle. <laughs> and I said, I'm going to live to 103. And they said, why 103 of all numbers? You could have picked 100 or you could have picked 90 or you could have picked 105. Why 103? The reason why I said I would live to 103 is that I wanted to see my country celebrate 100 years of independence. I want to live to see my country celebrate 100 years of independence. I look into the future and I retrospectively look back in the hindsight. What is it 100 years from now? How will PNG be? Is it a better place? Or is it just a statistics of nation? Is it a place I so claim it must be? Or is it something else? And so I said I am going to live to 103 to witness my country 100. For in a very short three years, we will turn 50. And so tonight I want to put an appointment with ExxonMobil that if I can come and celebrate 100 years of your existence in Papua New Guinea, well, you've got to live long enough to celebrate 100 years of Papua New Guinea's life. Is that okay? That's a date. That's an appointment. And so you have little but no choice. 
I am here tonight wasting my precious time to celebrate your 100 years of independence. <laughs> Duty bound. Well, you are now compelled to be around to celebrate my country's 100 years of life. That's only a short 53 years away. We waited 100 years to celebrate this moment. I'm asking you, wait with me next 53 years. In the next 53 years, our economy would have gone past when we're reaching 200 billion China in the next 10 years. If one energy project in PNG LNG would have moved our economy from a 44.6 billion China in 2011 to a 79.5 44.4 billion China rather to a 79.6 billion by 2018. Two LNG projects, three LNG projects can assist, if not exacerbate, our desire to ramp up our economy to a bigger size because it is only incumbent when we have a big economy, we're able to finance our own domestic needs. And for you investors in ExxonMobil, don't be discouraged. You know your experiences elsewhere. Papua New Guinea is a Christian country. Papua New Guinea is a robust democracy. Our judiciary is totally independent from the nonsense of the legislator and the executive. Once the agreement is locked down, it is fixed. Judiciary will always honor a legitimate signed agreement, and companies have been beneficial, beneficial, beneficiary to such agreements signed. And so, Papua remains a robust place of business. We are democratic. We are closer to the spot markets in as far as energy is concerned. Papua New Guinea, by wisdom of the fathers of a nation. Unlike many emerging nations, we have access to 60% of world's GDP. After I was in UK, I was given uh, express lane access into the Japanese Prime Minister's office when I went to pay my respect to the late Shinzo Abe. And Prime Minister Yasinda told me Thank you for your gas, and we want to buy more gas and more energy. <laughs> and to Peter San Fran, my friend Andrew, if you need a salesman to market your produces, the excess, the express lane, Papua New Guinea's bilateral relationship with 60% of world's GDP is a competitive advantage we have that no other similar economies and similar gas producing nations can give you. We have access right to, through the number one economy, the number two economy, the number three economy, the number four economy, the number five economy, the fifth economy. We've got access to the tenth economy, the eleventh economy. Almost half of the world's T20 nations have deep personal bilateral relationship with Papua New Guinea. On top of this, we are an affiliate and associate member to the Southeast Na Asian nations. Next 100 years belong to the Asian tiger nations that are emerging. They need energy and they will need food. Papua New Guinea has that combination. The challenge before me and my generation of leaders is to build a very strong, healthy, vibrant democracy, maintaining that as well as the law and the ambience of a law and order environment. We give you a commitment, we will work upon this in the next 10 years. And we ask you, join me when our nation celebrates 100 years of independence and we can collectively look back and you could say to your shareholders, you built a better PNG, for I intend to build a better PNG too. Thank you very much, congratulations of the highest order. 100 years, well done. Here, not what we are doing, we are cognizant to your rate of return on investments. Stick around. Together, you and me can build a better public in the Congress.